Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Trainwreck by Doomlink. Trainwreck? Yeah. Been having some problems today. Uh, I was going to be recording The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and it didn't work at all, because I had a few different issues arising. Hopefully they've all been fucking solved. The first issue was an issue that has happened once before. It's basically where OBS decides to crackle all over the fucking place. Oh, thank God I'm live in the actual YouTube dashboard, because that was something I was having trouble with as well. Okay, so, because I'm constantly switching back and forth between two different capture cards, namely the Elgato Game Capture HD and the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S, uh, I use the former to record consoles like the Nintendo 64, PS2, all of that stuff, the stuff that uses regular, um, I don't even, analog inputs, I guess you would say. <laughs> I don't know, I can't even think of the word now, but anyway, it's sort of regular, is it RCA input? I don't know, whatever. The point is that the older stuff I record with the old capture card, the newer stuff I record with the HD60S, this is on the HD60S, but basically sometimes if I switch between them in the actual OBS software, it will cause the recording to skip and get all crackly and it's awful. It's a quick fix, but unfortunately, it, the quick fix being closing OBS and reopening, but if I'm already live, then depending on how much I've recorded, it will all have to be thrown away. I mean, it'll all have to be thrown away anyway, but the impact of that will depend on just how much I've recorded. And fortunately, someone brought it to my attention much sooner than it had been done in the past, so... Well, I guess technically someone mentioned it sooner in, in the previous instance when it happened, but uh, at least it was mentioned in general and not uh, completely ignored, which could possibly happen. I've definitely, I mean, one time I had a recording that I did where there was absolutely no game audio and no one said a thing, which really pissed me off, but um, anyway. I think we're actually good. I think we can finally frickin' record something today. I'm not doing Phantom Hourglass because I'm officially pissed. By the way, that wasn't the only issue. When I tried to reinitiate the recording, YouTube did not recognize that I was live, and so I just had to scrap that as well. It's fucking annoying, anyway. Technical difficulties, and of course the irony of it is that Phantom Hourglass was the recording, or rather the recording series, the Let's Play, that made me want to stop doing live Let's Plays because of the stuff that goes wrong when I'm trying to record live. And then the first time I record a live recording for that game, since I wanted to stop five months ago, that ends up happening. So that was just uh, brilliant. Okay, so I'm just getting my chance up right now. I'm not going to sit here and rant to you and not play the game. Don't worry. We will be playing. I just need to wait for the fucking laptop to slowly but surely load this thing, if it would like to do so. Yes, come on, please. So yeah, I've got no idea what the stream notification is going to be like for you guys. If any of you even join, I would dare say that it would be a near miracle. But, oh, hello, Danielle. Good to see you. Okay, so... At least someone's fucking here. Now, it's still raining here, and you if you do remember, in the previous recording, we did have an issue climbing this. Basically, we pretty much got to the top, and then we started sliding around as we got into the part that was wet. The idea being that underneath the protection of this structure, this part isn't wet, so we don't slide. But once we get to the top, we will start sliding, which is really annoying. So basically, we can't get up there right now. There's some guy... It's not even that specific one that we want to climb. Is this one here? But I was thinking that we could jump off from that one there and actually make it to here. You'll see that my natural lighting is pretty shit at the moment because it's getting late into the evening. I just wanted to let YouTube relax for a little while so that it could fucking register that I was live again. But uh, yeah, okay. Now I'm doing sort of okay, Danielle. I think things will be okay soon once I actually get into the groove of recording this again. I've just been having some issues today with uh, recordings. Either way, technical difficulties are a whole lot worse when you're trying to record live, I can tell you that much. Either way, what we will do is try to continue in this direction, because we can't really do anything with that place right now, so... Okay, we'll head out through here. We're pretty much going to do some sort of circular rotation here, just to explore this. And then I dare say we will have pretty much explored everything we wanted to explore. There is another shrine somewhere around... Was it here? It was in, No, it was around here, where I couldn't fucking find the thing in the last video. That was really annoying. So, that's a thing. 
The problem is it's raining right now, so I don't want to have to climb anything, to be honest. We want to head in that direction, I'm pretty sure, don't we? Yeah, more or less. Oh, the rain is clearing up. Hey, that works out really well, because that means we can actually try and do this climbing business. So, do we have our climbing stuff equipped? No, we don't. Let's do that right now. We will put the two pieces of climbing gear that we have on. We will equip them. And I'll actually, at some point, check to see how to get the final piece of the climbing set. I'm sure it's from a shrine. I just need to find which shrine it is. Okay, so we do want to climb this one. Oh, that didn't really work out so well, did it? So you can hear the guy's music. He's on the bigger mushroom, I guess it is. I don't know if we call it a mushroom or a tree or what the hell, but it looks like a mushroom, so I'll call it a mushroom. Maybe this guy's a Telvani or something. But yeah, um, I'm not exactly impressed with the lighting conditions right now, but unfortunately I can't do anything better than this. This is just how it has to be. You'll have to forgive me. Alrighty. And just like that, we are on this particular mushroom. We're not slipping and sliding around because we don't have the frickin'... How do I say? Rain to deal with. So when we do climb upside down here, it does consume our stamina a lot faster. Because it's harder for- Oh! Link can't climb upside down there for some fucking reason. I have actually seen him practically climb upside down before. But it seems like today he doesn't want to do that. So I would guess that what we want to do is use Rivali's Gale at the top of this thing. That's what we'll do. If that doesn't fucking work, then I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do. But I'm thinking that this will work. And it was pretty much as soon as I had mentioned that mentioned it that I thought of doing that. I'm glad that, and I've mentioned this before, but I'm really glad that I'm actually thinking of doing this. Ooh, that's not going to do. Oh, you know what? I think if we go to this one and then try Rivali's Gale, that might work. It's probably safe to dash, and I'm worried that we'll fall off if we dash. You would think that dashing would cause us to fucking fall off if we're practically upside down. That would make sense to me. Yeah, I'm thinking Rivali's Gale will do it. If we're on this one anyway. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's go, awesome. Actually, we would have made it from the other one. How about that? What does this guy have to say? Oh, it's a Rito. It looks like a giant fucking parrot. When the moon bleeds, he said. That's a bit creepy. Yes, it is the blood moon, but the... I don't know if it's accurate to say when the moon is, moon is bleeding, that's a bit weird. Anyway, oh, excuse me. Was that a bit rough on the ears? A little bit. Ah, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down this... Ah, you remember that, that song that we were supposed to learn? We talked to someone in the Rito village about some ancient song. This is the guy, how weird is that? Let's hear it. Excellent, without further ado... I can't hear if he's singing or not. By the way, I did change the game language to Japanese, which is which will be really interesting. But he's not actually singing, it's just text. It's like when people type lyrics into online chats, and you're just like, uh, you're not singing, you're just typing, stop. <laughs> when the moon bleeds, I wonder what that means. What do you mean you wonder what that means? It happens like every few days or so, the fucking blood moon rises and then I have to deal with the consequences. May the light illuminate your path. Hopefully the... Is it really fucking bright? It's okay, it's alright, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's pissing me off at the very least. Um, So, I didn't get to see what the hell we just had happen. I don't know if we completed a quest or we were given a quest, but... Under a red moon. When the moon bleeds and fiends are reborn, slash the monks will invite you as they have sworn. I stand on a pedestal with nothing between you and the night air. I don't know where the bloody hell we're supposed to stand for that, but whatever. Now, I thought that we had achieved something. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't achieve anything. I was just thinking about the fact that um, we now have Japanese voices in the game, which is going to be really interesting, and I'm excited to actually see that. Or hear that, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. So, at least we went and started a quest of some kind. I don't know where we're supposed to be with the Blood Moon, but I'll definitely check online at some point when I'm interested. Shut up. Oh god, I've just got something in my eye. What the fuck was that? 
you know, what I just got in my eye, it's almost like, you know when you're walking around outside and it's really windy and things get blown into your eye? That was the sensation, which is really weird because, like, <laughs> I'm in my room and there's, there shouldn't be anything flying into my fucking eye. But you can sort of tell the difference between the sensation of something just ending up in your eye and something flying into your eye, and it was the latter. Don't know why. Anyway, let's head over here. Now that it's not raining, we don't have to worry quite so much about not being able to climb once we get to a place. Although I do worry about having enough stamina. Had we used Rivali's Gale, it would have been a different story, but unfortunately we're still charging that up. Oh my god, this is not looking good. Look how much altitude we're losing here. Okay, abort. Have to go. Yeah, okay, we'll just go over here, that's fine. I'm just worried that we're not... Oh, we might make it. We might make it. Let's see what we can do. We'll just give it a try. You know, I might have made it had I not done that, but now I've really fucked it up. Maybe I can stand here. Hey, that works really well. That works very well. I've still got my climbing stuff equipped. I will equip the barbarian stuff again, because that, of course, is good for defense and good for attack as well. But because I knew that we were going to climb over here, I didn't re-equip my stuff. I think my eye is fine now. Ugh. But yeah, that was weird. I, like, turned over here and looked at the bird, and then, well, I didn't really look at the bird, I looked in the direction of the bird making the noise. And it, uh, something flew into my eye. Must be the bird's desire to ruin my recording to an extent that it never had previously. Actually physically harming me. Rather than just annoying me with its tweeting. Okay, let's go and put on the barbarian stuff. I know where we get the last piece of the barbarian set. I just don't know exactly where that place is located. It's the central labyrinth, whatever. Again, it's probably like over here or something. But in the case of the climbing gear, I really don't know. And I will have to check. This is a rather picturesque looking location. You can see that at some point in the past there was some sort of devastating earthquake here. All the land has split off in different directions and I like that. It's almost, it's got that real prehistoric look about it. Right, let's head over here. God. Losing frames like nothing else. I will definitely get this game on Switch eventually. I don't know when it will happen but I don't think I want to have my second experience playing this game, however many years that will happen in the future, to be on the Wii U, because I think that the game is just performing nowhere near as well on the Wii U, so... Yeah. It's not a, it's not like the comparison between GameCube and... Uh, Wii for Twilight Princess. This is just... <laughs> this is not as good, I don't think, so... Again, I don't regret my decision which was to buy this game on the Wii U when it came out, because that was definitely a good decision to make. There was nothing else that I wanted to get on the Switch at that time. There was nothing on the Switch that I wanted until, like, mid-2018. So it was like a year and a half after this game came out that I actually had something that I wanted to play, which was Generations Ultimate. But, yeah. Where are we heading now? Over here. Okay. Whatever you say, Shrine Indicator. I really have lost all faith in you. I had all the faith in the world when it came to you and your reliability, until like two recordings ago, or three, can't remember now, but it was fucking miserable on a number of occasions, so consider me unimpressed. Hopefully this is it. The last time I had one of these things, it actually didn't lead to the shrine and I was very upset. What have we got here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's leading to the shrine. It does lead to a chest though, let's see what it is. Silver rupee, I'll take that. I'm sure, I mean, I look at my rupee count and I think, oh, 2,400, that's pretty good. But I'm sure that there'll be stuff in the future where I'm really going to need a lot of rupees. So, hey, I found it. Hey, it's a fucking shrine that I can find. Hallelujah. And this is going to be our last spirit orb to get four. But I won't visit the, actually, maybe I will visit the Temple of Time immediately. Uh, but yeah, there's another shrine. It's always good, isn't it? We'll see what this con is contained. We'll see what is contained within it, in terms of puzzles. I'm always hoping for that straight corridor, you know. Always hoping for that. Is everything all right with the stream? I think so. I think we're all under control again. Okay, what have we got? Synced swing. 
Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to need stasis for this. Okay. So, how do we swing that thing? I'm sure we use stasis and then hit it with something, but what do we hit it with? Do we stand on it? And bash it? Somehow? What I could try to do is hit it with arrows. That would be weird, but... I'll equip your bow, dickhead. Of course, I had to unequip it because I was getting struck by lightning before. Come on. No. Is that working at all? You could see that it did something, but clearly practically nothing. I'm glad that I could get my arrows back. That's very nice of them to not have me waste them. So I'm sure I'm supposed to hit the chains or something. Maybe that will work. It said synced um, platforms or whatever. Don't know how I'm going to sync them, but... That way? Why are you going that way? Shit. My god, this is damaging my fucking club. Oh, this is pathetic. This is awful. Fucking Jesus, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Link. How am I supposed to... And I've gone and damaged my dragon bone club now. What's something that can create force like that? Unless... Oh, I'm being such an idiot. I'm being such an idiot. It's quite simple, Doom Link. It's quite simple. You can see that it's made of metal, which means that you can do what? Come on. Yeah, there we go. If it's made of metal, you can use Magnesis. Now, this thing's a different... St oh, no, it's not a different story. We can just cut it down like this, I think. Yeah. This is old-style Zelda right here. It's like I'm playing fucking Twilight Princess. If only, right? If only. Speaking of Twilight Princess, I will be continuing that soon. I haven't forgotten about it, I just haven't been in the mood to do really long recordings recently, so... Yeah, I want all of my Twilight Princess recordings to be nice and long, you know, three hours minimum. Looking around the four hour to five hour mark, six hours is fine as well. But, uh, yeah, these days haven't really been in the mood. I will actually think of doing it in this coming week. It's currently Sunday, and I think maybe I'll be able to do that soon, but we'll see. Now, what can we do with you? Looks like you can be swung as well. How about I just... <laughs> I'll just leave you on the top here like this. That would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Instead of swinging it around, we can just, you know, gently lay it down. Oh, shit. Fuck, that nearly hit me. <laughs> okay, so it's designed to... No, not you. What a move, you. It is indeed designed to swing and then be avoided as such. Oh, that... Yeah. Well, that was me thinking that Link would move faster than that, and he didn't. I should have actually run to do that. It's very nice of them to not. Actually, I can move past right like that, or just like that. However I want to say that. Run. Okay. Run. No, don't run off, don't run off the fucking edge, please. I know you want to, but please stop. This is terrible. Okay, so we're on the other side of this. We're losing a bit of health here, but that's okay. Okay, that's not how we want to swing that. Like this, please. Swing it like crazy, shall we? Let's do it. I'm fucking ready. Yeah. I keep fucking falling off. I swear to God, like... There's something about my ability to control the character in this game. It's quite terrible. It's as if I have some sort of mental deficiency. It would be great if I just stopped performing so poorly. Then we might actually do a big swing with you as well. Except that's really fucking scary. <sighs> oh shit, what am I getting hit by? I walked into this, that was my fucking problem. Okay. I'm swinging it really heavily because it's more fun that way. Whew. Okay, so there's something that- there's like a crystal that we can hit in the distance. Let's see what that does. Should we hit it now or wait? What's in that chest? Is it even worth it? Probably not. I'm scared to fail. Because that would be really annoying if I did. Hello, what are you giving me? We've gone and stopped time now. Forest Dweller's Bow. That's always a nice fucking insult, isn't it? Your inventory's full. Uh, what are our bows right now? We can probably drop the duplex bow. I'm not really interested in it, to be honest. 
No, don't shoot your arrow, asshole. What the fuck are you do- What the fuck is your fucking problem? I didn't touch you. I understand that it was swinging by itself, but come the fuck on. This is fucking ridiculous. You've got to be- No, 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 no. We're not fucking playing this game. That is to say, I'm not fucking dying like this. This is just stupid. Fucking eat you. So that I can get all my fucking health back. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm not swinging you heavily anymore. We've had our fucking fun. Oh, that was fucking close. Okay, drop your duplex bow. Thank you. And get this thing out, whatever the hell it is. It is a five-shot burst. So is that like... A five shot burst in one single direction, or is that like a a horizontal spread shot? I don't know. I mean, I could shoot it to find out, couldn't I? Let's have a look. No, I should save it for an enemy, shouldn't I? Seeing as though these things do break. Okay, so let's go and bring this closer. Yeah. Oh shit. Thank fucking god I didn't mess that up. Okay. I'm guessing that's going to tilt everything, is it? If I hit that. Okay. Well. How the fuck am I supposed to do this? What? How am I supposed to do this? This is nuts. Okay, so if I move that, does it slide back? No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't slide back. We're okay. I was worried that it would slide back, and then I was thinking, well, fuck. So, because it doesn't slide back, we can just make stairs, basically. Do that. No, oh, maybe we can do it more like this. Bring this closer. I mean, what we could do is just stand on it like this, eh? That would work, yes. Oh, why? Climb onto you like that. Alright, let's stop fucking bringing it super close to us. Because we do have to actually get onto this side. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So what's with these flaming lanterns? Oh, do we use them to light this? Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting. And then you can go and light yourselves on fire. Is this working or not? What are you... Because I'm assuming that we climb these... No, we don't climb the vines. Oh, I understand. Behind it are metal blocks. But we can't move them because... They're stuck in place. So I'm guessing fire means we need to burn these. I mean, what we can do is be naughty and do this. Hit the fucking thing, but thank you. It's burning me. Stop, stop, ow. Okay, now everything's burnt. Great. I decided that it would be easier to do that than try to work out how the fuck we're supposed to use these, so... Yeah, just need to pull the door open, I guess. Or push it open. Push it open. There we go, that's the shrine, everyone. That was... a bundle of fun. That was our... spirit orb, our final spirit orb. What are you upset about, Ultima? Ugh. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Well, what you could do is shut up and give me the orb, thank you. Okay. That's four orbs, and we get all our health back, that's very nice of them. Let's go to the Temple of Time, get another heart container. Maybe we'll get a new row to our hearts, I really don't know. I don't know how many is in the top row. I don't even know how many heart containers I freaking have. Let's try to count them. I'm kind of far away from the television, so... Let's try to do that properly. Oh, I could always count them on the loading screen, couldn't I? So, what have we got? Looks like we've got 10, so... Either it stops at 10 or it continues to 15 or something. I'm guessing it would be a multiple of 5. It would be weird for... Well, I guess it could be 12 or something, couldn't it? Wouldn't be terrible. But yeah, we will go to the Temple of Time now. We can walk back to this position once we have finished with what we wanted to do with the Temple of Time. And then we continue exploring, or can continue exploring if I would like to enunciate what I'm trying to say. Great Plateau Tower. I'm doing well, Vern. Haven't seen you for probably two months or so. Good to see you again. Maybe it's been one month. Maybe I'm being overdramatic. <laughs> you have to understand that time passes very strangely for me. It's probably 
yeah, probably like a month. Anyway. Yeah, hurry up and load. One thing that I'm going to notice when I do eventually play the Switch version of this game is how much faster the game will fucking load. Because again, I'm loading this thing off of, off a USB thumb drive, as I've mentioned a number of times, but it needs to be mentioned, it's hilarious. So I'm sure it's loading very slowly. Forest Dweller's Spear. When did I even pick this up? I don't even remember picking this up. I'm guessing it was in the previous video, but what the fuck? Well, I'll just keep the Dragon Bone Burger Club for now. Let's head over to the Temple of Time. Fortunately, I have it in my head now. As far as which direction I need to go to get there, I don't actually have to be able to see it. Which is my usual complaint. Because oftentimes, I warp to the Great Plateau Tower... And I can't even see the frickin' uh, Temple of Time in the distance, which can at times be frustrating. But yeah, I'll definitely aim to get 100% in this game. Not truly 100% because I'm not doing the fucking Korok Seed quest, I'm sorry, it's not happening. And I'm sure you guys are not wanting me to show you the experience of trying to get all the Korok Seeds. But... Uh, I'm going to 100% to a level, th or I'm going to work towards 100% and then stop at a point that satisfies me. And then I'll get the game on Switch and play it in a few years or something. I don't know when it will happen. Probably in six or seven years after I finish this. Just so that I can come back to it and maybe get something more out of it. It'll be more of a nostalgic experience rather than... Because experiencing it as, like, for the first time is interesting, but... I think I'd get even more out of it if I could enjoy it as, like, a nostalgic experience. Which, I kind of reiterated what I just said, but anyway. Yes, I would like a heart container. Are we getting a new row, or what's happening here? I think it can... From screenshots of the game that I've seen, I think it's, like, 15 hearts on each row, something like that. Which is a lot, but, yeah. Well, it's definitely not 10. Anyway, go and bring peace to Hyrule. Yes, sir. Well, yes, madam, whoever the fuck you are. Alright, we will head to Mog Latan Shrine. You know what I hate? Putting all these stupid fucking shrine names in the titles of my videos. I'm doing it because I want there to be some sort of discoverability with my videos, but... Yeah. No, it's fine, Vernon. I was just commenting on it. I understand that people have things to do in their lives outside of watching me play video games. I, I'm A-OK -okay with that. <laughs> okay. So again, we are going to continue probably in a southeastern slash eastern direction from where we are now. Like, I'm thinking around here. We still need to go in that sort of circle. So that's actually what we'll do. I'll put a marker down here. And if I aim for that, and then from there, move up through here, there we go. That's the path we want to take. We want to do that. So from here to there, and then to there. Now, I do understand that I'm skipping this here, but we could go from there to here. Let's do that. Let's fucking... I mean, that might seem strange to you guys. Maybe it would make more sense to go the opposite way, but I don't fucking care. I've decided that I'm doing this. So says Doomlink, in his infinite wisdom. The temptation is to just continue- well, not just the temptation- what the fucking hell is going on over here? Hello, sir. You know what I haven't done during this recording? Save. And I'm gonna do that right now. I mean, this guy doesn't look extremely difficult to deal with. He looks like someone who I'm just- he looks like a skeletal version of the big giant we fought on Eventide Island. And he wasn't too difficult. We just need to hit his fucking eye and then we'll be alright. You know what, let's test out this bow to see what it does. I'd like to. I can see you've got a fucking sword stuck in your face. There we go. That looks like that was a little painful, doesn't it? Can I? Oh, I can deal damage to you. I'm hitting him in the crotch. That must hurt. Stalnox. Okay, so let's try that again. Is he hiding his eye? No, he's not. Try it. There we go. Okay, let's save that bow for a, a rainy day. Doing a little bit of damage. I'm just going to break this stupid thing. I'm sure I can hit him in a normal scenario. As in, without flinching him like this. Oh my god, his eye fell out. 
I'm very sorry to see that your eye has fallen. Okay, I should be aiming for the eye. Let's, you know what, let's fucking equip something that's actually damaging. So that we can actually destroy this thing. Fuck, here you go. I'm gonna get attacked if I'm not careful. Okay, he's gonna put his eyeball back in. Yeah, stop that. Oh, you're so smart, aren't you? I know I'm free shooting, which is probably not a great idea. Oh no, he's gonna fucking hit me. He's throwing it! Okay. Eyeball. And he's dead. What did we get from that? Was it anything worthwhile? That is the question. There's the question on everybody's lips. Oh yeah, we've got that lava sword looking thing. Knight's Halberd. Which is only slightly better than our forest dwellers, etc, etc. Giant boomerang. Okay. I think I'd like that. Let's drop, okay, and then this lava sword. Okay, we are going to drop. Hold on, let's go pick this stuff up. God, we've got a lot. Hinox Tooth, we've got this as well. Golden Claymore, jeez us. Can I check the fucking damage of this thing before I pick it up? That would be fucking lovely, wouldn't it? You you can tell when I'm getting when I'm getting passionate when I'm just throwing f bombs all over the fucking place. But yeah, I am I am passionate. We we are picking this up. What are we? Twenty eight damage, less than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be better than this. That's still not too bad. It's not horrendous or anything. All right, let's see what. No, okay. Well, what don't we want? God, I want all this. Okay, well let's let's drop the golden claymore because it's probably going to be weaker than this thing. Flame blade. Well, it's got a critical hit ability. This looks really cool. You know, it makes me so sad that this is just going to break eventually. I fucking hate that sort of shit, man. I really hate that. Okay. Um it's definitely better than our flame spear because it's got the critical up ability or critical hit. But I would like the ability to have, or well, I'd prefer to have both than one or the other. This massive boomerang requires two hands. Originally used for hunting, it was modified for use as a weapon. The blades on the inner curves make it a bit tricky to wield. Well, it looks like it's quite durable. So, yeah, oh my god, this is crazy. A two-handed fucking boomerang? I was not expecting that. No, let's, let's try throwing it, just for fun. Yeah. And then we press A to pick it up again. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't return to you because it's very heavy. It doesn't travel as far. Oh, no, it does. Okay, that's fucking cool. Man, two-handed boomerangs. Who would have thought? Oh. Oh, fuck. Where did it go? Okay, good. <laughs> Not super far away. I don't know if that damages the durability of the weapon. It probably does, but... I kind of want this golden claymore as well, but... I don't have space for it, so I think we're just going to have to leave it behind. Sorry, guys. Sorry, all you Golden Claymore lovers. And sorry, all you Forest Dwellers, Spear lovers, and Knight's Halberd lovers. We are abandoning them today. I think I'm content with our current arrangement when it comes to weapons. What the hell's down there? I'm seeing something down there. It's a skeleton. Hello, skeleton. What have we got equipped? Let's equip something. No, we can we can use this, I don't mind. There we go. Using it as an actual boomerang might be better. Oh, speaking of using it as a boomerang. Yeah. Where, where is it? Where did it go? Did it go here? Yeah. Okay, let's use it as a freaking sword now. I've had my fun. I can die, get out of my face. You're wasting the durability of my beautiful two-handed fucking boomerang simply by existing okay I'm picking up this Hylian mushroom hello Brian Nettles welcome back I'm picking up all these mushrooms actually come on come on come on rush room okay that's yes we're going to use that in combination with other stuff for cooking with meats and whatever pick it come pick it up thank you the things I do for rush rooms. Okay, come on. Rush room, rush room. God. Is it worth it? Is the question. Probably not. In spite of everything, I will 
persevere and pick them all up. I really don't like the lighting right now, by the way. I fucking hate it. Ugh. So how many rush rooms was that? Nine. Wow. Okay. Now let's let's go over here. Come on, come on. Okay, we are going. We've got three Rivali's Gales here, so I think we're going to use another one right now. So where we're going? We're going over there. Yeah. Off we go. It's very nice of them to not consume any of our stamina until we have reached the maximum altitude that Rivali's Gale provides. It's very nice of them to do that, in fact. Okay, so our marking point is there. Again, it's just a reference. We don't need to go exactly there. But I can see where we're headed. We're headed over there because there seems to be something interesting there. But for now, we'll go to the top of this and see if we can see anything interesting in the distance towards the south. Okay... Hello, bird. Okay, what's going on here? This looks like something interesting. Some statues or something. Some sort of offering. Maybe it will do something if we put an apple there. I don't know, but I don't think I want to. I could give it an offering of... Um, Octorok guts or something like that. Enjoy that. Gods. Okay, I think I can see a flower. I want it. No, it's not something I can pick up. That is alright. Immersion, immersion ruined. I've lost all immersion now. Lost all faith in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that I think we've found this. Finally. It only took a little, more than a little while, but we finally found it. Awesome. I'm glad that that was sitting there in my mind. But yeah, we found another... How do I say? Memory location. And this is perfect! I can actually demonstrate the Japanese language of the game. On the first recording since actually setting it to Japanese. I'm really excited. Sanide in, I didn't read it. Is it Sanide in Park Ruins or something like that? Anyway, let's go. I'm ready for some Japanese Breath of the Wild. Hell yeah. I had to download DLC for this, you know. And then we will remember back to 100 years before. God, he looks like an idiot with that fucking helmet. <laughs> oh god, I hate the lighting right now for me. Try to enjoy it. Ignore my stupid lighting. Symbols I'm going to listen to how accurate the translation is. This is so much better, holy shit. All of a sudden I actually love Zelda, listening to that voice. ラネールという山だそびえ。ラネール。<笑> あの泉でなら
私は十七歳になりますあの山に行ってみようと思います Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That was awesome. Oh, so many games you just can't do that. You, you can't just have the original Japanese, but I was just casually going through the settings a day or so ago. Maybe it was yesterday. No, it was the day before. It was after I had finished my last recording and I was just going through the settings and I found language options and it said that I had to download a DLC. I'm thinking. If there are language options, I bet there's Japanese. There has to be. Like for the voices. And I went and downloaded that, and the first option was Japanese. Set it to Japanese, and I've now enjoyed my first Japanese cutscene in the game. I'm very happy. Very happy. And it works so well that it was in literally the next video after I had set that language option. So, there you go. Now, I guess we want to continue over here. Oh, um, Sanidin, Sanidin, I don't know. How am I supposed to say that? Sanadin. It doesn't sound very nice, does it? You can see the uh, the dueling peaks over there, I'm pretty sure. Is that right? Yeah, dueling peaks just over here. That's really cool. Remember the... <laughs> back in the day? Everything you can see in the distance is a place you can go. You can go there. So, well, now that's like normal in video games, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Anything under here? Hey! A single green ruby. I'll take that, just to hear the sound of it. Just so that, you know, I've said this a million times, but when I hear that rupee sound, it's only then when I realise that I'm playing a Zelda game and it feels good. It's only then that I feel like I'm playing one, is what I mean to say. Okay. I am looking forward to having more stamina, but I really do want to focus on health. That's what I said. A long time ago, I said once I got a complete second stamina ring around my stamina wheel, I would go and really invest hard into health, because I had to survive through much of the game with only three hearts while I was upgrading my stamina, because I had decided that stamina was the most important in the early game, because it would allow me to access a lot more places, because climbing is directly linked to stamina, and in some cases, you can't even get to certain towers unless you have a certain amount of stamina, so it was very important that I upgraded my stamina wheel and ring and all of that business. So, yeah, for that reason, stamina was definitely my initial focus. I went past this marker here because I can see that I haven't actually gone up here yet, because I'm seeing these landmarks that, looks, that look a little bit unusual. They might be something of interest. Geno Bridge. Okay. Anything underneath the bridge that's interesting? Doesn't seem like there is, but I'll tell you what, we are really high up here. This is not the kind of bridge that I would want to cross, given the sort of drop that exists beneath us. I can see a rush room. Oh, I have to get it! No, not really. I'm not some sort of rush room addict. Not yet, anyway. It's another guy. Is this the same one, or is it a different guy? Hello. It's a different guy. Oh. I did not hear your approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see. And this was the last song he taught me. Excuse me, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Yeah, sure. Is it also called The Moon That Bleeds? Oh. Perhaps not. Okay. Do you think the rings in the song refer to these oddly shaped rocks? And what of the shrine? There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. So I thought that there'd only be one ancient song, but no, it looks like this is a... a quest line of sorts, where we have to do... all these... Uh... Oh, it's a shrine quest, technically. Is... is that other one considered a shrine quest as well? I always go to the wrong frickin' thing to look at my... Okay, adventure log, here we go. Fucking hell. It's really hard. Yeah, these are all shrine quests, technically. You can see because they've got that shrine... Well, you can see because it's under the shrine quests quest list. Who would have fucking thought? Got memories here. We could go and watch all these memories back in Japanese, but I can do that in my own time if I really need to. I'd love to hear 
um, that princess from the uh, the Gerudo. But anyway, from the Gerudo Desert or whatever. Uh, seems like we have now discovered the relevance of the rings. I don't think there's anything else to really discover with them. But either way, I think we can now go and head over here, maybe. I guess it's faster to go from here. I guess I made a bad decision going in the order that I chose to. I mean, it would have been better to do a clockwise circle rather than a counterclockwise one. But that's alright. A hello person in the Twitch chat. I did see you before, but I was too busy enjoying the Japanese cutscene. Cutscene? Oh look, there's a bird. I'm sorry, I'm going to disrupt you, but... Yeah. He doesn't sound like that. He doesn't sound like a seal giving birth. Okay. Revali's Gale is unnecessary here. We already have quite a lot of altitude. I have to say, I am impressed with the scenery changes that exist in this game. They've definitely done a good open world. They haven't been lazy in that regard. They've definitely gone the whole way. Let's go to this pond. There's probably something here. Or perhaps not. Maybe it's just a thing that exists. Yeah, the problem is that whenever there's a water source, the Wii U just chokes on it. It can't handle it at all. So, that's a little unfortunate, isn't it? What have we got here? Armoranth. Or Armoranth. I don't know if it's Armoranth or Armoranth, but either way, I think I can see our next destination. Or perhaps, I could try to find a tower for this province. Hmm... No, it wouldn't be... I was thinking if we discovered the tower here, maybe it would almost like a a water source flow into this one, but I don't think it will. I'm tempted to try, but... I can see a tower in the distance there, but it's already activated because it's not shining red, so... Yeah, let's go to that tower in the distance over there. That works out very well. You can see that we are pretty much directly in line with it, so that works out very nicely. That will be our next point of discovery. If there, That is to say, if there was nothing else that I wanted to discover here. I mean, there's a little bit through here, but I'm pretty sure that I went past all that. Okay, how about this? Just so that I can make sure that we have discovered everything, I will go to this shrine and then go northeast from there and see what's going on. The hero's path does definitely help as far as seeing where you've gone and where you haven't. Previously, I would have just estimated, but now I can actually see pretty comfortably where I've been. It doesn't get much more clear than the hero's path, really. Okay. So from here, we want to go this way. I will make a marker here. Oh, and I can delete my yellow one now. There we go. Alright, where is... Okay, over there. So I remember, when we were here, that's true. So when we were standing here last time, I saw all that business in the distance and I was like, well, shit, let's go over there. That's probably the Rito village, and I was right. So now we can actually continue this way, now that we have this province discovered. There's a guy on a horse. There's... What's going on in here? It's a stable with rams. Or goats, depending on how you want to say that. I mean, I don't know what the strict difference between a, a goat and a ram is. I, well, a ram is a sheep, isn't it? I'm an idiot, excuse me. I meant to say I don't know the strict difference between a sheep and a ram. I know the strict difference between a goat and a, and a ram because they are actually different animals. But <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Dodged that bullet, didn't I? Anyway. <laughs> But I don't know if that was a horned goat or what, whatever the fuck it was. Look, I'm not some sort of... Do I look like a... Uh, do I appear learned in farm animals or other such species of creature? Because I'm not. Okay. There's... What, what's that? Okay, it's a Bokoblin hideout. It's going to take care of this. How are we going for time? 
We'll probably go for another 20 minutes, I would guess. There we go. One-shotting him, which is very nice. One-shotting him and then immediately going to, like, 5 FPS. Beautiful. Just what I like. My favourite thing. I can see you, and you're going to hurt me a lot when you do hit me, so... We do have our Barbarian stuff equipped, don't we? If I can actually enunciate. Yes. Now. That's not really working for me, is it? Hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, that's awesome. That's fucking cool. Doesn't do an amazing amount of damage, but it's pretty fun. Okay, let's actually equip something damaging here. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with the Flame Spear. These guys are being lit on fire, and it's absolutely destroying my Wii U. My Wii U is going to get lit on fire if I'm not careful. Okay, so how it works with fire weapons is they do need to recharge. You can see that that's happening right here. Um... Light him on fire, don't you hit me, sir. I know you want to, but I would like to implore that you do not. Oh, what's going on there? I guess stuff got thrown into the air or something. Oh, I see. So, Dragonbone Boker Club. I can't pick that up right now, but that's okay. How about the Boker Shield? No. I don't really want it anyway. I'm sure there's more. Boker Blend's inside here. Oh, no. You're still a shut the fuck up. Oh, great. Now they're all being called. There we go. Anyone else coming? No. Doesn't seem like it. I think these are the last guys. I think everyone else ran after me. Yep. We'll see what we get inside the chest. I don't think we've gotten anything amazing from these chests in the past. I mean, we may very well have, but I have since forgotten. But I think usually it's stuff like amber, opals, things like that. So we will see, but I'm thinking... That it'll be something along those lines. Could be a weapon as well. We will just have to wait and have a look. Okay. Well, that's not terrible, is it? Was that 38 damage? I think that's the same as... No, it's considerably worse than the Royal Claymore. Okay. You know what? That thing can fuck off. I don't want it. I mean... No, I... No, I don't want it. What I do want, however, is more slots for my weapons. That would be lovely, actually. <laughs> but that's not really happening these days. Okay, let's heal up, shall we? Hmm. What wouldn't be over the top? That would be insufficient, actually. Um, we'll go with this, why not? Just seven hearts from that one. Always disappointed in these chests, yeah. It is what it is. Good to see you back, by the way, Arixian. I do thank you for pointing out the issue with those recordings before. It's basically one of the benefits to being live. You can see immediately whether or not something has gone wrong. But unfortunately, because it is now later in the day, the lighting conditions are much worse. So you're going to have to enjoy my face lighting up as if I am the second coming of Christ. Because that is the way in which I illuminate the backdrop behind me so that it can actually work as a green screen and illuminate me and uh, it's a mess but anyway I'm sure the setup will get better one day but for now this is how it has to be at least if I want to record during the evening when the light is waning okay so now we can just glide down here and I think very soon we will have discovered everything we wanted to discover in this sector, and then we can move on to the next place. And I'd like to get that done before the end of this video. Oh, we've got more rain over there. Hmm. Not sure if there's anything interesting over here. Just looks like flat grassland. Well, not really flat, but you can see that it... It's just grassland, really. Hmm. My neck's acting up. Ugh. Lost my stamina because I was too busy trying to move my neck around. Okay. Yeah, not really seeing anything of interest. You know, I try to... When I'm exploring around, I look for places that seem to be points of interest. But sometimes there's nothing really that jumps out at you as being a place of interest. So you just sort of continue along. Hoping to find something. But, uh, 
Yes, times like these when having a horse does help, but honestly, I don't think I would bother with a horse until I had that EX horse whistle thing. It's probably not even a whistle, but it's something that calls the horse, no matter how far away it is from you. And I don't have that yet. I mean, I can probably get it, but I don't know how to at this point. Don't even know which horse it would freaking call. Let's go down here and blow some stuff up. Alright. Horses in this game elude you. <laughs> Alrighty, what have we got here? Flint. It's always the usual stuff. Although uh, opals are pretty rare. Which is, I guess, contrary to what I just said. I think something just went into the fucking wall. Don't tell me you didn't fucking see that. Something flew out there and then went inside the wall. That's really annoying. Whatever. Anything else interesting here? Hmm. I think we can now move on. Let's go to this shrine here, shall we? Zaltawa. Give you Zaltawa. Yeah, I've been flying for the most part as well. It seems to be a pretty good mode of transportation, particularly once you have Ravali's Gale. So, I've definitely been making use of that lately. I'm glad that it charges relatively quickly as well. Very glad of that, in fact. And you can do it as many as three times once it's charged. Hmm. I think how it works is they don't charge individually. You use all three and then it will charge back those three uses. So Once you've got them all charged up, it's not a bad idea to use them frequently rather than sparingly. Okay. Let's continue over here. Actually, this is not where we want to go from. We want to go from here because this is nice and high up based on the topographic map. So, well, not just based on that, but also based on my memory. Because I was wondering why we would choose to go into the next sector from there. And then I remembered why. It's because we were nice and high up and we were able to glide into the next place. Makes a whole lot more sense to me. Still haven't gotten that one. I've only got two at the moment. I've got the one from Varnaboros and the one from Varmedor. Haven't seen any of the other divine beasts so far. But yeah, I can demonstrate Rivali's Gale to you if you haven't seen it. You probably know of it, but in case you don't, I'll demonstrate it now. It's quite useful. I love it, actually. This is the place where we wanted to go, isn't it? Yes, it is. Doesn't really look like where we wanted to go, but... Yeah, I must have gone from a different position. I must have been standing here or something when I was last looking at it. But this works too. Fucking crow's coming after me. Yeah, this really does make gliding around a whole lot easier. This is... At this point, much more practical than horse travel, in my opinion. Unless we get a fucking Pegasus, which would be fucking cool. Imagine if we had a Pegasus, that would make me wet. I mean, the closest thing to a Pegasus in this series so far has been that fucking bird in Skyward Sword. And if you <laughs> if you want to see some fun, try to find my Skyward Sword recordings where I'm trying to record that bird. Or trying to control that bird in those recordings. Very funny, because you can basically see my full body down to my waist, and you can see me swinging my arm around like an idiot. And I'm, like, complaining about how the bird is not being responsive. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know when I'll resume that Skyward Sword recording, but... Ugh, it's not good. It's not good at all. It's fucking rough. Okay. We'll use another Revali's Gale momentarily. And, um... Yeah. But yeah, that bird in Skyward Sword... I mean, Skyward Sword in general, I understand that it might be okay as a game, but... I don't like the... Motion, the Wii Motion Plus gimmick with the Wii Mote having to swing that around to do basic things, and in turn, I don't like the gimmick in how it finds its way into all the dungeon mechanics. That pisses me off. I have to fucking swing my arm around like a moron to open a door. Fuck off. Like literally, you have to do that. There was there were these fucking eyeballs on the doors of the first dungeon. I'm sure it's throughout the whole game this sort of thing, but there were eyeballs on the dungeons, and I had to fucking. Like, the eyeballs would follow your sword, and you have to swing your arm around in a fucking circle to confuse the eyeballs. It's like, oh my god. 
As soon as I saw that shit, I was like, whoa, I need a break before I get angry <laughs> because it's just, this is not what I want out of my Zelda experience. And of course, I've mentioned this many times before, but I saw Skyward Sword at E3 2010 and I was like, nah, not playing this game. This looks like shit. It looks like shit. It smells like shit. It probably is shit. And I didn't play it for eight years. And then I finally got it in late 2018. And lo and behold, I fucking hated it. So, <laughs> at least I can say that I've played it. Whereas previously, I just said, well, look, I haven't played the game, so I can't really say anything about it. Now I can say some things about it. I have a few choice words to say about Skyward Sword. You bought Skyward Sword but still haven't played it because you hate Wii? Well, I'm glad you feel that way because Wii is a sad time, at least in that regard. Wii can be quite fun. I very much enjoyed Dragon Quest Swords, which was a game where you swung your arm around like a retard, but at least that one felt right. That one was... Uh, actually designed around the mechanic in a much nicer way, in my opinion, whereas Skyward Sword, I was just sitting there going, why can't I just play this on a fucking GameCube controller or something? This is awful. That's how I felt at the time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to deal with this guy in a sensible way. I don't know how we're going to do that, but I think we're definitely going to save. This guy's about to whack me. Yeah, I usually use my Wii as a GameCube. But lately, I think I'm going to be using the GameCube as a GameCube because I just dug it out and it still works, which is good. Dug it out of a box that's been sitting in for a number of years now. What do I want to use? Let's use the Royal Claymore. Oh, I'm actually not taking much damage from these Moblins at all. It's very good. Skeletal Moblins. Okay, so how do I want to deal with you? How have I dealt with you in the past? Do I want to reflect your thing? I probably want to reflect your thing, don't I? Just to put it in the most articulate way possible. But I'm worried that these guys are going to bother me. These fucking... assholes. okay. No, we need to get the shield out. No, 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 stop doing that. Get out of the sword. No, 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 no. This is not how I wanted to do this. I mean, I understand that what I just did made it look as if I were mentally and physical, physically disabled, but I was just, uh, I was having a moment. I needed to try to work out how to pull out my shield, and I'm sure it would have been a simple process of putting the weapon away and then pressing ZR or something. Yeah, it is. This is quite simple, Doom Link. Fuck's sake. Okay. I believe in me. Well, that was close. At least I know how long I need to wait now. Oh, of course, um, I played Try on the Wii as well, obviously. Absolutely played the hell out of that. That's still, to this day, the Monster Hunter game that I've played the most of. About 2.3 thousand hours. But I didn't use the motion controls on Try. Had absolutely no desire to do that. I thought it was a fucking joke until I saw people doing that, and then I realised, hey, that was correct timing, I swear to God. Like, that could not have been better. Maybe I can't reflect these. If I can't reflect these, someone please tell me. <laughs> because I'm probably going to try until I eventually succeed. Yeah, maybe I need to get my bomb arrows out or something. I'm not sure. I'll try once more, and if it doesn't fucking work, I will try to kill this thing normally. I thought this was the normal way to kill it. Okay, it worked. But did it hurt it? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. This is one way to fucking kill it. Okay. So we can probably just keep doing this. It takes so long for that thing to charge up that we're not exactly at risk or anything. While it's doing that. Just keep on shooting its fucking eye. This is quite simple, isn't it? Watch it fucking throw a curveball at me. And just laser me instantly without charging up. One more. Oh, no, it's dead. There we go. Is it going to explode? Well, it did explode, but not in such a way as to harm me. Okay, well, that's done. Got some ancient technology pieces. That was good fun. I swear to God, like, I was expecting to one-shot the thing by reflecting its beam, but it didn't happen. So usually, if, yeah, if you walk up to these things, you can pick up stuff from them. So I should do that. 
Is there any... Are there any others? Oh, hello. There's one that's alive. I guess I'll kill you as well. This is called the Central Tower, which I'm guessing would mean that the Labyrinth is going to be here. Maybe not. I mean, I think it was called Central Domain Labyrinth, so I'm thinking if this is the central province of the area, then maybe I can... Is this a... Oh, hello. I thought I saw something. Fucking awesome. I'm going to need to get some more arrows, by the way. Come on. Oh, what the fuck's going on with you? Oh, bats. This is giving me Daggerfall vibes. Hearing hearing the bats before I can see them. Okay. Come on. At least the sound isn't as annoying. I remember the bat sound being the same as the rat sound. And it just so happens that both bat and rat rhyme. Coincidence? I think not. What the fuck is this? Rusty Halberd. How about no? How about no? How's the lighting going? Pretty bad. Pretty bad, man. Um. I think it. I don't think this is going to work out so well. Watch this. As I increase the chroma key, my face is probably going to phase out of existence. Is it? is it phasing out of existence? Let me just add a delay so that I can see this. Gonna add a delay. Gonna move my hand. Yes, it's phasing out of existence. Okay, what we have to do here is. And I hate having to do this, but. It's only gonna be for the last. Oh. Little while. Yes, I know the chroma key looks terrible. Fear not. I have a solution for this. It's a frickin' desk lamp. I'm going to shine it on the green screen. Um, as far as positioning it properly. Ugh. The things I do. The things I do. Okay, how about this? Whoa. This is not... I mean, it's working for the green screen, isn't it? But I just don't want it shining on me. <laughs> oh, my dearie me. How about that? Hey. Sort of work... Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, baby. Hey, that's perfect. If we could just have it. Okay. Now, if we move forward. I mean, that's alright, isn't it? That's okay. Like, that's not terrible. How's that? It's an, Im it's an improvement, I guess. I mean, there are other places I can put it, but... How about this? Come on, man. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> that will do. We've basically fixed the problem. That's all we really wanted. Alright, so... What the hell are we doing? So, Central Tower... Is that... What's that in the distance? There's something glowing over there. Is that a fucking shrine? Probably is. Maybe not. Is it a shrine? I don't know. So we're one hour and ten minutes in, basically. So I'm probably going to end it after getting to the shrine. So I went to a little bit of trouble to... Oh! I just had a little... Uh, had a little moment where I creamed myself. I hope you forgive me for that. So what I'm going to do is equip this, and I'm going to... Light you on fire, light you on fire. No, I need you to light on fire, please, if you wouldn't mind. Let me just recharge this. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at all this red choo choo jelly. This is B A U to full. Because now we definitely have enough red choo jelly, I'm thinking, to upgrade our. I need to refamiliarize myself with the name of it the Snow Quill set. So we should be able to upgrade the Snow Quill set at least once. This is going to help us to actually kill the Lionel 
that is located in that snowy location. So, that is how... Oh, that's probably going to be something that we'll do in the next video, but yeah, that's how you get red choo-choo jelly. I didn't know that either, Arexian. Someone told me on my stream, I think, two recordings ago. So, that was definitely a useful piece of information. Alrighty. As far as Central Tower is concerned, there's no real challenge to get there, or to get to the top of it. You just climb it. And the only thing that's really surrounding it is ancient technology that's trying to kill you, but that's nothing new, is it? Okay. I'm just doing this so that we can get up here nice and quickly. Saving our stamina in the process. Okay. And just like that, we are at the top of the tower. And I am very interested to see if that other fucking sector is going to be discovered along with this, because if it doesn't, I might cry a little bit. At that point, I'm going to have no fucking idea how to actually discover that sector. We'll just have to see. But yeah, here's another tower activated, which is awesome. Scanning area. Yeah, just hurry up. You do this every time, it always looks the same. I mean, I know it's so lovely and so graphically amazing, but give me a break. I'd love to skip it. Okay, here's the moment of truth, everyone. <gasps> no, it's not going to continue into that area. Fuck. Okay. There was a border. I thought that would be the case. I just wasn't sure. Consider me disappointed. You can see that this is actually showing Ganon's castle. Or Hyrule Castle, however you want to say that. So this is pretty cool. This is a very important tower to have, because indeed it does contain, within its province, the castle that is our ultimate objective. At least I believe so. Where is it? No, this way. <laughs> Fucking hell. Over there. There we go. So yeah, we can't get there yet. We need to activate all the Divine Beasts, obviously. So, yeah. Later. Don't know where, where the next ones will be. Based on this, uh, Death Mountain is over there or something, like around here. And I don't know where the other Divine Beast is, we'll find out, no doubt. I would say it's probably around here or something. But yeah, we are discovering more and more of this overworld. But I think that is going to be it for this recording, guys, because I don't really want these videos to go super long, unfortunately. And I do have other things I need to do anyway, so it works out well. So yeah, um... In the next video, we will... Oh, do I want to try and... Okay, seeing as though I'm thinking of it now, I might actually forget. I did actually mean to do it in this video, but I did forget, so let's do it now. I want to upgrade my Snoke wheel set. So let's do that right now. That'll be the last thing we do in this recording, and then we'll end it. In the next video, we will probably try to see how to discover that sector that I'm thinking of. I mean, the problem with it is that I don't want to look at a full map of the overworld online. I'm trying to keep it, keep the um, the discovery experience, the adventure that I'm having, nice and authentic. I don't want to see what the whole overworld looks like. But I might end up accidentally seeing it if I try to find out how to unlock that sector. So maybe it would be best if I just didn't look online to see them. Okay, so where the hell are we going from here? I think up this way. Again, excuse the frame rate. Kick it and get a bonus. Come on. Kick it. <laughs> Alrighty. We've got some fairies here. Again, I seem to mention this every time. Let's stop mentioning it. And we'll try to upgrade our snow pool set. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Silence yourself. Ah. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Well, that works out rather well, because I need to upgrade this stuff. So we only need nine red choo-choo jelly here. So we may very well... I mean, hopefully it's three for the next ones as well, because then I'll be able to upgrade it twice. But I doubt it. You probably need more, if anything. Stop breathing on me, it's disgusting. Come on. 
Alrighty. Snow Quill Headdress. Upgraded to plus one. I do wonder what the set bonus will be for the Snow Quill set. Yes, I would like you to enhance some more things. Out of interest, I will go and check with the other great fairy that we've rescued, just to see what's needed for the next upgrade. Yeah, I've basically totally solved my my backdrop issue. It's better to have it down there than all the way on my desk, but anyway, yes, I do want you to enhance one more piece, which is this here. Yes, please. Let me do my thing. Which is breathe on me. Which is disgusting. And I would love it if you didn't have to do that, but unfortunately you do. No thanks, says Doomlink. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm going to your sister now, so if you could stop talking to me. Didn't need to see your armpits. Go away. Alright. So let's go and head to the other great fairy. We can get there from this tower to Bantha Tower. And we'll see if it also requires three red choo-choo. I would imagine not, but you never know. You never know. It would be nice if that were the case. Come on. Again, I've said this a million times, but I do wonder how the loading times are for the Switch version. Because these aren't terribly slow, even though I'm loading off a thumb drive, so... There you are. Couldn't see you for a moment. But yeah, I would say that we are making pretty good progress, progress in this game. One of the reasons being that I have been making an effort to record this more often lately. So... It's actually worked out rather well. Okay. Why do you have to fucking... I mean, I guess that's a theme of great fairies, isn't it? They make stupid, erotic noises. I thought I detected the fragrance of a young man nearby. To describe that as being questionable would be an understatement. Oh, we can't upgrade through you. Oh, never mind. We can upgrade through you. Oh, fuck. You need... Wait. Oh, you need five per... I was reading that wrong. But, uh, yeah, we need some warm Safflina, which is fine. Like, that's not difficult. We can upgrade this again. This is really worthwhile. I guess because it's such an integral armor set in this game for going through cold areas, they make it much easier to upgrade. So this is really good. And once we do fully upgrade it, we'll be able to take on that Lionel pretty easily, I think. He will he seems to be harder than the first one that we fought at North Lome Labyrinth. But still, I think we'll be all right. So we just need some warm Safflina. I'll work out how to get that and we'll... We'll probably wait to get, um, what? We need 15 fucking red choo-choo jelly. So once we've got about 15 of those, then we'll get some warm Safflina and then we'll upgrade that stuff. Because I don't know where to find choo-choos consistently. So therefore, it would be better to just wait until I find enough of them on my travels. So yeah. Drop you. And uh, yeah, that's it for this recording, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you when we are next playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ideally, I will be recording Phantom Hourglass as my next Zelda recording. Maybe it will be Majora's Mask, I don't know. But what I'm hoping is to go back and forth between... Or rather, rotate through Majora's Mask, Phantom Hourglass, and Breath of the Wild. I would love that. So, do expect to see more of that on my channel. Because getting those done is definitely my current objective in Let's Playing, so. And also do expect this coming week a recording of Twilight Princess HD in the livestream playthrough format. But yeah, I will uh, 